I feel like I could not mentally handle that situation there. Where I'm on a falling rock that's going down a waterfall. I don't think any human being could handle the situations that Nate gets into in this game. Poor Nathaniel. Nathaniel Drake Nathaniel Drakovich. The name the game would pick off if his name was Nathaniel Drakovich. Honestly, I think it would have sold more. Drakovich's fortuitous events. <laughs> I love that. I don't. You don't? <laughs> I don't. That's fair. At least the game is pretty generous with checkpoints. That is true. Like, whenever you die, you're <laughs> never sent back, like, 50 million I, steps. Yeah. Like, Dark Souls. Like, Psh. Shark Bowls. That was a good like one. Shark. Put that one in, put that one in the bank. Oh, we'll see if it makes the cut. <laughs> just kidding. Just, just cut out all of the parts where you talk and just leave the parts where I talk. That's what I was going to do. Thank you. Be pretty funny. Be pretty crazy. Holy shit, Drake is a fucking fatty if he can uproot a giant ass tree. <laughs> Drake, you've been hitting too many must, of them, uh must be like twenty six pounds. At least. Oh, More like twenty six tons of baloney. Not baloney. I hate baloney. I already said that today. Yeah, but you didn't say it on air. Does it need to be said on air? I mean... Hot take. I don't like bologna. There you go. Now you said official. it on air. Okay, I can't... Nothing's ever official until you say hot take first. That is true. Are you gonna make it? No. That's... The rest of this playthrough is gonna be this stage. <laughs> You're I right. This, this is a long-ass level. <clears throat> This is the end, though. Okay. Well, kind of. This area is the end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just a lot of explosions in a short span of time. I don't think I could mentally prepare myself to be in a gunfight. This is a lot. Yeah. I remember the one time I played paintball, I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> if, was that with me when you... Oh, yeah, I yeah, guess you only played it one time. Yeah, paintball is... It is really intense. I mean, it's it's as intense as you want it to be. Like, if you're... I don't know, I was really scared of getting hit. Right. I mean, getting hit is... It's always the thought of it that's way worse than actually is, getting hit. It is true. Oh, I just remember when we first... Like, we got our guns, we got our suits on, we were walking up to, like, start our first game. Yeah. And, like, it was like, okay, let's do some test fire so you know how to, like, shoot the gun. And, like, I just realized how fast and how, like, <laughs> insane it was. And yeah. I was just like, oh, frick. And I was just instantly not looking forward to playing. Uh, I still have my favorite memory from uh, paintballing was when I just... That was my fault. I was a dumbo. It's okay. Ah, do we start the whole thing? No, I mean, it's okay. Continue. Yeah, my favorite memory of paintball. I've only ever been twice, and I, I enjoyed it both times. I was never very good, but when we were, I was playing with. Don't Liam. say that. No, it's true. I'm, I'm dog shit at paintball, but I'm really good at laser tag. Oh boy. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I, when we were I was playing with Liam, it was for one of our friend's birthdays, I believe. So we were all hanging out, and then our group was kind of grouped in with another group, and there was this little, like, 8 or 10-year-old kid, and I, he was a little shit. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe this is just another thing where I still hold grudges against people that I knew, like, once, and it just sticks with me, but that's the only thing I remember. But no, he, was, he probably was. He was just the worst. He was, like... He was super braggy and just like talked shit this whole time. It, you know, he, he was just he's just a little a little he was a little snot. You guys know the type. Anyway, I there was kind of like a rule cuz he was younger than we were that if you are what? Holy okay. shit. I got rushed. You got smacked with a shoddy. 
Anyways, there's like a rule where if you're if you're at like a a younger kid and you kind of catch them from behind, you just say like oh surrender, and then if they surrender, they're just out, or they can run if they want, and you can just shoot them all you want. And so I, this kid was this was like the fourth game now, and I was like okay, I finally caught this kid from behind. I'll be a nice guy. I'll say do you surrender? And he was like, no, and he tried to run away, and I started just fucking unloading on him from point blank. He's like, I'm hit, I'm hit! I just kept fucking shooting him, because I hated it. Yeah, because you're only supposed to shoot the person once. Yeah, and once they say you're hit, you're supposed to just stop. And I was like, sorry, kid, I can't hear you. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, I'm, I'm still... I mean, I don't know how old I was. I was at least, like, 15 or 16. So maybe, maybe I... I should have been better, but I wasn't. I think I'm still not better. <laughs> no, that's funny. Yeah, it's a good story about how I tortured a kid and probably made him <laughs> never want to play paintball again. You know what? The paintball community was better for it that day. The paintball community. <laughs> I still get <laughs> letters in the mail from paintball alumni from taking out the paintball taking terror out that kid. kid. I did it. It was telling you to click up. I should have, but it was telling me to come up here. Oh. Why are you going in the plane again? It's, it's very impressive to do that, to climb up a rope with just your hands. Yeah, I I never understood how people could do that. You know what, I've... I can do it if I use, like, my feet as well. I can barely do a pull-up, so I think this is a little out of the question for me. I don't think there was ever a time in my life where I was able to do a pull-up. Zach, you're going to do a pull-up tonight. You know, you're right. I don't even it's know where you'd, where you'd have a place to do a pull-up. We have an exercise machine downstairs in my basement. With a pull-up on it? I mean, it's not supposed <laughs> to be a pull-up, but you can use it as one. I feel like you can't actually use it as one. You can, though. Cause I tried it. Did you do it? I just said I never did a pull-up before in my life, Liam. Oh yeah. But it didn't mean I didn't try. It didn't mean I didn't try my darndest. You can do it if you try. Okay. I feel like a point blank shot from a shotgun should should be an instant kill. Bang. You'd think. Like his his internals are just messed up forever now. Like you, you don't, you don't walk. You don't away. recover from that one. Yeah, without you, a scratch or two. Without a little scrape and a bump. Without a little bump in the night. There's so many fucking pirates. What do they want? Like they want are, the booty. What are all these guys here for? <laughs> I don't know. They're all hired. Imagine having... But, like, who, who... Didn't you, like, escape from the guy who was trying to kill you? Well, yeah. So now you just kind of, like, went into their forest and started shooting them all. Pretty much. You could have just tried to say, hey, just passing through, guys. I literally don't have anything on me. Isn't he, like, broke? You don't got nothing on him? Oh, no, we were trying to race them to this island, but apparently they got here first. Oh. I don't want to seem like I don't know what's going on in this game. But to play on your story, yes. Oh, I get shot. I get shot. <laughs> he gets shot. I really like the ragdoll physics in this game. It's it makes shotguns really fun. Yeah. Look at this. I don't have enough to the moon. Let's throw some nades. I don't have any nades. No, that's just a dilemma then. I think ammo. I can rush him? Of course not. I would rush the ammo first. That there poor guy. He did not see that coming. I like the shotgun though. Of course. Even though it has less ammo. It's fine. Less ammo, so but less shots ammo. needed to kill. What's the best weapon in this game? Um, you get some good weapons later on. 
It's probably like the the in the number one game. Probably like the gun. You're wrong. It's your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget that. Sweet, sweet. Sweet. Probably the ray gun you get. You get a ray gun? Yeah. Okay, fuck the mind bullshit. Ray guns are sick. <laughs> That's just a rough one. You know, that wasn't even funny. That was just brutal. That was just sad. That was just awful. That was just... I can't believe you laughed at that. A guy just got impaled by seven spikes. Not even one spike. Seven spikes. At least spikes. seven spikes. What's the deal with that? What's the deal with so many spikes? You'd think one or two would be enough. Six or seven is just a little too much if you ask me. What if Jerry Seinfeld was playing this game with us? He is. He just doesn't say anything. He just sits in the corner and watches. Man, that guy was not as good at watching out for people as Jerry Seinfeld was. I don't think he could. I don't think he could make it as an observational comedian either. What's the deal with ragdoll physics? Whoa, what happened there? I don't know. My grenade didn't go where I it said it was gonna go. Liam, you're gonna die. Ah. Liam, you're gonna die. Don't say that. You're right, I'm sorry. It's not true. How would you feel if you were playing Uncharted, but you got to play as one of the... Frick, I died. You got to play as one I of the I only died because of your unbelief in me. I unbelief in you all day, every day of the night. I like that little hop, skip, and a jump before the attack. La 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 You gotta go in for the kill. I feel like... You know what? I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> That's fine. It's just a very confusing moment in your life. Yeah, I, I feel very morally conflicted. Oh, frick. Liam, you're gonna die. Stop Liam, you saying die. that. I only die because you keep saying, Liam, no. you're gonna die. Liam, you're playing on hard. You can't be a reckless Ralph this. No, it doesn't work like that. I literally only die because... You tell me I'm gonna die. Okay, so if I don't say anything, you're gonna make it through here. Well, yeah, because Zach, I don't want to make you seem like a liar. If you say, Liam, you're gonna die, I have to die then, because then I just it just makes you seem like a liar. I'm doing it for your image. Liam, I've lied so many times, I don't know the truth anymore. <laughs> truth is a relative concept. <laughs> <laughs> 